I'm a scholar of American culture with an interest in the relationship between political ideologies and popular culture. In my research, I have found that American identity today is strongly tied to an image of capitalism crafted and advertised by the Ad Council and American corporate interests over the decades, often with the support of the U.S. government. In 1942, a group of advertising and industry executives created the War Advertising Council to promote the war effort. Renamed the Ad Council in 1943, the organization applied the same wartime persuasive techniques of advertising and psychological manipulation during the Cold War years. Uh, one of their goals was to promote the virtues of capitalism and of free enterprise in America, while simultaneously demonizing the alternative, socialism, which was often conflated with communism. Between 1949 and 1952, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer distributed them in theaters, schools, colleges, churches, and workplaces. Once you swallow the contents of this bottle, you'll have the bountiful benefit of higher wages, shorter hours, and security. Enormous profits, no strikes. Remember, you're the big boss. Government control, no worry about votes. Name your own salary. Bigger crops, lower cost. Why, ISM even makes the weather perfect every day. I hereby turn over to ISM Incorporated everything I have, including my freedom and the freedom of my children and my children's children, in return for which said ISM promises to take care of me forever. You know, including... My freedom. Freedom? What? Well, sign away my freedom. Why, this is ridiculous. We've built a country under the American system that sends more young people to high school and college than all the rest of the world combined. Why, even in the Depression, our wages bought more food, clothing, travel, and entertainment than the wages of any other people in the world. Before signing up, you boys ought to try a little taste of Dr. Ism's formula to see what you'd get in exchange for your freedom. Go ahead, try it. You can't do this to me! I'll strike! The state forbids strikes. Wait till the union hears about this! Ah, yes, the union. Welcome to our ranks, number 1313. The state is the Supreme Court. Our decision is as follows. No more private property. No more you. Farmers don't vote anymore. Well, what will they do for seed next year? You won't have to worry about next year. The state will do your planning from now on. to regain our freedom, or everything is lost. Everything! Everything is fine. 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 When anybody preaches disunity, tries to pit one of us against the other through class warfare, race hatred, or religious intolerance, you know that person seeks to rob us of our freedom and destroy our very lives. But with our present tax load, we should avoid pressuring government for any new services that aren't absolutely necessary. Because we all know the more our government provides, the more taxes it's forced to collect. None of us can escape. Big business. Small business. Farmers. Workers. Housewives and all of us have to pay our share. Demanding more and more from government could create a tax burden heavy enough to crack essential blocks in the foundation of our business system.
in the future of our country, waves of destructive forces will continue to batter against our foundation. When any force weakens the interlocked blocks of our political and economic freedoms, as good citizens, we must be quick to use the tools our Constitution gives us and repair any cracks that may appear. As long as we keep the foundation of our business system strong, we shall be able to maintain and improve the way of life our forefathers conceived and established. <laughs>